This is the new Boeing 737-900ER in Aerofly FS4 and we are going to fly it in VR from Hamburg to Amsterdam and the detail is outstanding once again. Can't wait to show you this plane, here we go. Alright, let's turn this plane on. In the overhead panel we close the DC bed switch card which sets the battery switch on. That's this button over here. There we go. And that will light up everything very beautifully. And if available, and it is, we also select ground power to on by moving this switch to the forward position. And yeah, fantastic. And now we go all the way to the rear part of the overhead panel and we set both IRS mode selectors to the nav position. That's these knobs over here. Nav and nav and that will align the plane. We check that there are no engine warnings and we test the max airspeed warning one and two and that seems to be working correctly. And I want you to know that you can fully use the CDU pre-flight procedure over here. I'm not sure how these really work. I can only set the takeoff procedure. But uh, yeah, you can play with it. You can set all your lags in here. I am just going to put the uh, takeoff one in here. And I will see you when I'm done with that. Alright, let's start the APU now. We can set the left wing AFT fuel pump to on to assist the APU fuel pump. And we hold down this button over here in the bottom uh, yeah, here for three seconds. And that will uh, start the APU then. We uh, observe the EGT rise on the round gouge uh, a little bit to the left. We will see that go up. That's this one over here. And that seems to be all good. And when the APU has started, the blue APU Gen Off Bus light eliminates. And we can turn on these two buttons over there. There we go. The APU started. Alright, in the overhead panel we just do some other checks. We set the yaw damper to the on position and we check that the, in the fuel panel we can turn on all the fuel pumps now. Over there, we make sure that the left and right wipers are in the park position, which they are. And uh, I think we can already turn on the uh, seat belt sign for the passengers. Uh, where was it? Uh, over, uh, over here. Let's turn that on. And yeah, this should all be Gucci, I think. We turn to the overhead panel again and we turn on all the window heat switches. The left, this one. Oh, not that one. The right one's here. And this is all good. But we set the ELEC 2 and ELEC 1 hydro pumps to on over here. There we go. We make sure here the APU bleed is on and the engine 1 and engine 2 bleeds are off, which they are, so that is good. As for the lights, we turn, um, oh wait, why is this on? This should be off, but we set the sterile cockpit indicator light to on. Let the cabin crew know that we are in a busy phase, not wanting to be disturbed and the logo lights are on, so good. All right, then for the front panel up here, this is beautiful in VR. We can just uh, turn on the uh, flight director up there with just our bare hands. We can set the, uh, the takeoff speed. I think the V2 takeoff speed is 150. So I'm gonna put that to 150 over here. Um, there we go. And uh, here is the, the heading, the course. It should be aligned with the runway, the way we take off, which is 230. And yeah, just, just, just this works really good in VR. Uh, this is so fantastic. Absolutely amazing. And uh, the altitude, the cruising altitude is 28,000. So let me put it to 28 up here. There we go. And we test the lights as well. Everything turns on, but these are quite important over here. So when we turn it off, yeah, they should not be illuminating. And as you can see, well, everything should be working uh, correctly. All right. Ah, man, just look at the details here again. Absolutely fantastic. I, I really dig Aerofly FS4. Okay, uh, we also test the oxygen mask. Ooh, dangerous sounds. It seems to be working. 
All right, let's turn on the engines. We rotate the engine start switch for engine two to ground start. And we should now see a start valve open, which is good. It will spool up a little bit. And when it reaches 25%, we then move uh, the engine fuel lever from the cutoff to the idle position. So right now we can just go down. And like I said, we turn this switch to the idle position and then it will just spool all the way up and we will do the exact same for engine number one the left engine as well so we set the left engine to the ground start position as well again the uh, valve start valve open light starts to shine up and at 25 percent we will go down and set the uh, Cut off fuel lever to the idle position, which is around now. There we go, and that should spool up the engine. All right, there we go. Let's taxi. Uh, first, the parking brake is set. You can see that by the uh, red light over there. If I uh, get rid of the parking brakes, the light stops to shine. I can hold the steering wheel here. And look at this, by the way. So this is the. Uh, this all works in VR. Isn't that beautiful? I think it's great. I think it's great. All right, let's uh, start to taxi here. All right, and this is the best part in VR. We are going to take off. We checked that there are no warning lights. Everything seems fine. We are at run rate 23. Let's put the thrust levers to the 50% uh, mark over here. Let them spool up. Everything seems to be going well here. Gonna select the auto takeoff function there. There we go, full throttle. Love the, love the engine sounds here. We make sure that we stay aligned on the runway here. Everything seems to be going okay. No beeping, no warning lights. There we go. Soon we will reach the V2 takeoff speed. V1. V1, sorry. Takeoff rotating. 10% angle, a bit more. Perfect. We seem to have a positive climb rate, so that means I can uh, put up the landing gear. There we go. Fantastic. Yeah, this really never gets old in VR, I tell you that. Flaps up to the one position. And soon we can uh, get rid of all the flaps. Having to align myself here. The flight director. And there we go. Going up to 28,000 feet. Yeah, look at this. Fantastic. Fantastic. We are uh, soon reaching a point where we can uh, get rid of all the flaps. Going to turn on the autopilot over here so we can just uh, relax. Flaps up. And I will see you once we reach 28,000 feet cruising altitude. See you soon. Welcome in the skies. 28,000 feet and you know what is best in VR? That we can just stand up in the cockpit. Look at this. I love this. You try this on a flat screen. Look at the cockpit over here, all the details. We can just take a closer look. If I go all the way down here to see uh, well how, how the cockpit of this plane looks like. We can switch all these buttons here. Not going to mess that much up. I can change the frequencies over here, but that's how far I will go. Uh, yeah, this is so amazing. This is so cool. And I will just go back into my seat and I will uh, see you again once we are going final 
into Amsterdam. And uh, I hope that will uh, that will work. See you soon. All right, we are going final into Amsterdam here. I have to tell you something. This is the third time I am flying this plane, and I just don't know how to catch the glide slope. I will uh, turn on the approach mode here, but that will not do anything. If you know how to do this, let me know in the comments down below. At least, at least, we are aligning with the runway, so uh, that's that, that's fine. And well, maybe for entertaining purposes, it's maybe also better if we just do this manually. I'm uh, going to put the flaps a little bit down here into the 5 position, which we can. And um, while I will take over soon, I will disable the uh, autopilot and we will do this all by ourselves. 3000 feet. Turning on the autopilot too for whatever that, uh, whatever that does. And uh, well, there is Amsterdam. And yeah, let's see. Um, I will be a little bit quiet. I have to focus. I want to get this plane on the ground after all this flying. Well, it's not a very long flight. It's a perfect flight if you want to do just a short uh, a short one. If you don't have much time. Hamburg, Amsterdam, that is. You can see the uh, land, l runway up ahead. We are a little bit low. I see only red lights. We want to see two white lights and two red lights. Uh, making sure that we are the right altitude. Like, I don't know... You can see this little diamond. I hope it catch. No, you see, it doesn't catch it. So I don't know why it doesn't do that. It seems everything seems to be correctly here. VNAV on, maybe. Doesn't do anything. So yeah. Um, let me get ready here. <laughs> okay, flaps more down. B25 position. We can. We can. Also. Um, Going to adjust our speed a little bit to 178. Taking over here. That's always scary, that beeping sound. It's, it stopped, luckily. Gear down. Love the sound effects again. And there we go. Aligning ourselves with the runway. We are still aligned with the runway. That's a good sign. I will try my best. It is definitely not the first time I am landing a plane, so I hope that experience will <laughs> will help. But it is a complex plane, I tell you that. It is a complex plane. Speed seems to be right. I like it. We are slowly descending. There we go. Concentrating. And taking my time here. All Gucci. Slowly descending. Oh, I forgot the uh, lights up here. Let me just turn on all the lights. And the uh, fast and seatbelt signs should be on. Welcome 1000, welcome to Labox Airways. Always a bumpy ride. I like the speed though, so I, I do believe that we can do this right. We see, I think, two red lights, two white lights, so the altitude is good as well. Still slowly descending, maybe a little bit too low here. There we go. Yeah, and I am doing this without a hotess. Everything I do with my bare hands. Here we go. Four hundred. The auto brake is set to two. Just so you know, I did not forget that. Landing gear is down. Three hundred. Three hundred. Aligned well. Plus hundred. Plus hundred. Maybe a little bit too high. Touchdown. The reverse thrust, always stressing. There we go. And oh, I'm sweaty. I can tell you that. 
always good to land a plane. Well, not according to its to its procedures, but uh, I mean we are alive. That's what matters. Okay, let's get this thing back. Oh, 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 oh. and uh, let's break and make a left turn over here. And then let's clean up the plane a little bit. Uh, lights off. Taxi live. Well, here we are. We are alive. We are in Amsterdam. We are home. Thank you for flying Labox Airs. And I will uh, be taxiing uh, to the gate over here. I don't know why, what, what happened with this. This just... Was that an effect or something? That was pretty cool. Um, flaps up. It's going to be up. And I will be taxiing to the uh, runway, guys. Uh, thank you very much for uh, watching this video. This is a new plane just released by Aerofly FS4. In my opinion, the best flight simulator for VR. Because just, you know, how to switch the buttons, the clarity, the performance. All is good. Thanks for watching again. Hope to see you in the next one. And don't forget that if you want to keep up to date with the latest VR updates and gameplay videos, subscribe to this channel. Ciao, ciao.